What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Learning to Draw and Paint with Yupari, a supplemental video series for viewers and students that will be taking in-person classes with me. So if you want to take in-person classes with me and you live in the Maryland, D.C., Virginia area, please see the link in the description box of this video. This is going to be an exercise for uh, you to sharpen your drawing and specifically your uh, usage of shapes of light and dark. This is going to be a timed exercise, so everyone will be able to do this on their own. In class, we're actually doing independent study, so everyone is going to be doing their own project long term. But I want you to have a short term thing to do at home. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw an eye in five minutes. I'm going to start a timer on my phone, and we're going to draw until the timer goes off, and then we're going to see what we get with that. You're going to see how I move. I stand back quickly, work with large shapes and all of the good stuff. And so uh, I will talk more about the process after. I will not talk in the five minutes when I'm doing the uh, drawing demo so that I can work as efficiently as I can. So uh, without further delay, let's go ahead and start the timer and see what we can get. Ready, set. Timer, five minutes. Okay, so we've got five minutes on the timer. This, by the way, is not sped up. This is not a time lapse. Look at the timer, I've got two minutes. We're gonna make a lot of stuff happen in just two minutes.
All right, we we'll probably have 26 seconds left. That's 20. Okay, that was 26 seconds. All right, so that was a five minute drawing exercise. Crazy uh, to try to do anything in as short as five minutes, but it is a uh, challenge for sure. It's a challenge that I do think that would be very beneficial for everyone, not just those of you that are taking online classes or in person classes or, or anywhere you are in the world. Do a five minute eye with charcoal. I say charcoal because it is faster. And now I'm going to talk about the technique that was used to, uh, to do this with this sketch. So I put, well, first of all, the paper. This is, um, I think this is uh, Strathmore pastel paper. Uh, let's take a look here. This is Strathmore Pastel. I'm not sponsored by anyone, so you can see uh, exactly what I used for this. Okay, there you go. And um, taped it onto a board. Make sure that your support is at 90 degrees. I put a tone of willow charcoal, a big uh, thing of willow charcoal. When I was toning it, I went a little too hard and scratched the paper. So it's actually better to use that for a sketch. You can wipe this out, it, take a picture of it, and I'm not going to do it, but take a picture of it. You can actually wipe it out with paper towel and set yourself up a timer and do it again. Uh, keep doing different eyes, not necessarily this one. Uh, I was looking at a Rembrandt. Um, you can look at whatever picture of an eye as long as it has light and shadow. The important thing is masses of light and dark. That's what will make it look uh, realistic. So shadow here, shadow there, shadow here, tiny shadow over here. Then you have the lights, uh, the uh, highlight, middle light. I didn't really get to the highlight part, but you have pretty much highlight and the middle lights there are somewhat... Um, guesstimated there you've got the tear duct you've got the pupil you've got the iris you've got the sclera of the eye the concavity of the eye socket and going from dark to light uh, transitioning from the that simple block in of the dark to light is going to be uh, very very useful uh, for you to be able to work with speed now because this took five minutes this should open up your imagination to keeping your shape simple and easy. These are simple shapes, but from a distance, as you're seeing from your phone or from your tablet or from your TV, it looks like an eye from a distance. And typically with the features of the face, if you're working on a portrait uh, or any like a commission or a figure setup or whatever, the features of the face are secondary to the big large shapes for the face so if it takes you five minutes if you see what you can do in five minutes don't over analyze and don't over stress over the features whenever you're drawing a face because you can move them quite easily if you keep your shapes simple and easy so once again this was a very short uh, video i hope i clarified how i went about drawing this like I said, I didn't narrate it when I was drawing it because the pressure was on. It definitely gets your heart rate going up when you're just boom, 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 boom. And you saw how I was moving back and forth, back and forth. The stance, having a proper stance is going to be so critical. Have yourself an arm's length away. Work through your arm, not moving your wrist around, but work through your arm, kind of like a sword fighter. Stand back. Analyze it as a series of shapes of light and dark, and you will improve uh, your, your artwork. So once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that this video 
helps you out. I wish you the very best in all of your artwork, and I'll see you on the next one.